Hey, what's up guys? This is Boba Rail, and today I have your usual patch notes for Vigor Update 5.0 Renegades. So today we're going to be covering all the new content that the Vigor developers have added to the game, as well as some UI and quality of life improvements. So let's jump right into things. First up, we're going to talk about the biggest addition to this update, and that is of course the new map, which is an encounter mode expansion of the old shootout map, Sawmill, featuring a large number of POIs with the main sawmill in the center. This one should have some nice flow, focusing most fights in the middle of the map. To accompany this new map, we have the addition of trios. You can now play encounters with teams of 3 and elimination with teams of 5. Or you can select the lone wolf setting in the encounter screen to get extra XP by loading into trios or duos as a solo. Of course, with the new season comes a new battle pass and weapons. The usual 3 new weapons, which were visible in the armory last season, are the Uzi or the Gal in game, the KS-23, and the SWSH. The Uzi is a 9mm sidearm with decent accuracy, but definitely falls off at longer range because of its recoil and spread. The KS-23 is the first pump action shotgun to come to the game. It is a 3 shot tube and its spread is most similar to the Silver Pigeon. And finally, the SWSH is a legendary revolver that shoots its own new ammo, the .44 Magnum and it is the only gun in the game that can one-shot to the upper chest. Also in the battle pass is the new booby trap tool. Place it on any lootable container and anyone who tries to loot it will have a 5 second timer to press a series of buttons and defuse it. And of course it's not a battle pass without new cosmetics. So you can dress up like a fancy cowboy and make all the AKs look nice and shiny. Chris has another video dedicated to the whole battle pass on an individual level which will be linked down below. Now let's cover the quality of life improvements. You'll be saying goodbye to the random encounters and from now on there will be two alternating rotations for each map at an hour and a half long as well as one featured map. In the gunplay department they've re-added penetration. You can now shoot through most wooden objects and there is what I would call variable penetration where a smaller caliber can penetrate thinner surfaces and a larger caliber can penetrate up to a normal house wall. Finally, one last minor addition but my favorite nonetheless in this update is what the developers call exit tells. Now if there are two players within 100 meters of an exit, a flock of crows will fly into the sky giving a visual and auditory cue that danger is nearby. This is one of the most clever and subtle ways to deter exit camping and I absolutely love it. Oh, and one more thing, you can now wear helmets on top of your gas mask and look like a member of the SAS. Anyways guys, this has been Bobo Rail. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll catch you in the next one.